Moving on to the question number nine, it is recognize and apply the properties of rhombi and square. Now you might think, what is this a rhombi? Uh, rhombi is similar to a square. It's called rhombus, plural form of rhombus is rhombi. Uh, let's, I'll just uh, talk about a few of the properties. Let's look into the problem. Now this is a rhombus, okay? First, let's realize what are its properties. Just like a square, all the sides are equal in the sense. Now, the external sides, these all are equal. Even a square has equal sides, but this has some other characteristics. You can see this is not a 90 degree here. So this is not a square, but just like square, all the sides are equal. You need to understand this diagonal. See, this diagonal is there, right? This is a diagonal which touches the vertices of the opposite vertices, this diagonal. Now, those diagonals bisect each other and they are perpendicular. So, bisect in the sense they both are equal. And then, another important thing is they are perpendicular. In the sense, all are 90 degrees over there. And one of the very important characteristics, this angle, this, uh, sorry, the diagonal bisects the angle. This and this is equal and this and this is equal this and this is equal to each other okay they are not all equal they are just equal to each other in the sense this this over here now there is one more thing i'm just uh, marking so, to differentiate this is equal to this one line one line two line two line three line three line and so on here there is one more thing which you need to remember opposite angles are equal for a rhombus, opposite angle. Now, this angle then is equal to this angle over here. Now, when it bisects, say, for example, this and this are equal. All are equal, you know. So, these are few of the properties. So, we will start solving. With those basic properties, you can solve any problem. Look over here. A, B, D. Let's say, where is A, B, D? A, B, uh, sorry. D is over here. Okay. This is 60 degrees. Now, what are they asking? Find B, D, C. Okay. This angle. Now, we know opposite angles are equal and the diagonals bisect. So, this, this is 60, this is also 60, this is also 60. That is equal, that's 60 basically, okay? So, the answer is 60 over here. You can see that's from the theorems. Now, this is question number 9. So, directly if you know the answer, it's fine. Now, look at the next problem. AE is equal to 8. Find AC. Where is AE? This is AE. What is AC? The total length. This much is 8. What about the total length? Times 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Because we know the diagonals bisect each other in the sense they're equally cut. If this is 8, then this other part is also 8. So 8 plus 8 is 16. We want the total length 16. Now let's see a few more. That is AB is given. We will clear this now. AB, this length is given over here to be 26, 26, okay. BD is 20, this entire length, okay. BD is 20, this is 26. Now what is unknown? AE, this one is unknown, okay, AE. Uh, how we can solve this is, I'm just thinking in my mind. Okay, we can do one thing. Uh, I'm not sure, there, there are many ways, but this method, what I'm thinking is, this is 90 degrees, isn't it? Now, the total length BD is 20. So, what is BE? It bisects half. It's 10. So, BD is 20. So, BE is half of it, 10. BA is given to be AB or BA is given to be 26. This is 90 degrees. So, we know this is hypotenuse. We can use Pythagoras theorem. Uh, Pythagoras theorem would state AB the whole square equals. The hypotenuse square is sum of the other two sides. A squared plus BA squared. So we, uh, we will have 26 squared equals unknown. I'll take it as x squared plus b is 10 squared. You can put in the calculator and directly get it. Now, if you're taking 26 squared, it's not coming in my mind right now. We will use calculator. Now, in the calculator, you can directly put this up. 26 squared equals x squared plus 10 squared. Now what happens is this 10 square 100 goes to the other side. 
uh, 26 is around 600 I'm, I have no clue it's somewhere over there I guess so it'll be around 500 now you need to take this other side and solve it but in the calculator you can directly put it and get it it's uh, 24 so the square root of that okay 24 directly we can write or uh, just over here okay x is equal to 24 that's the answer now, uh, otherwise, you can individually find 26 square, then take 100 to the other side, minus it, and then square root of that will be 24. But since it's MCQ, you can directly get it. Let's check the answer. It is 24. And yes, they have used the Pythagoras theorem itself. Yeah, you can use the same thing. Now, what's the next one? Measure of CEB. Where is CEB? CEE, -E, this middle all are 90 degree. You don't need to uh, think about it. Directly, it's 90 degree. This is 90. Because they are perpendicular, all of them. I mean, the diagonals are perpendicular, so they are all 90 degrees. What about this one then? Here we have measure of C, B, D. C, B and D is 58. Okay, let's write over here is 58. Now, measure of A, C, B. A, C, B is not unknown. How much is it? We know this is 90, right? So easily find it. The sum must be 180 degrees. So how we can do is 58 plus 90 plus x equals 180 degrees. It's a triangle. So just take it to the other side. x equals 180 plus 90 would minus 90 would be 90 minus 58. x is equal to 32. This is the answer. I hope that's clear. x is 32 degrees. Now, what about this one? Now, they have given in terms of equation. AE is given as 3x minus 1. What is AC? Oh, sorry. AC is given as 16. So, how do you find x? We know AC will be equal to 2 times AE. Or we can write, because AC value is known, I'll write AC divided by 2. The total divided by 2 must be equal to AE. So substitute AC is 16 divided by 2 must be equal to 3x minus 1. This is 8 equals 3x minus 1 minus 1 to the other side means it will be 9 equals 3x divide both the sides by 3. 3 equals x. So answer is 3 the value of x. So that is the answer. And the other problems are again straightforward just like this apply and solve it. It's not at all difficult. You can see over here measure of CBD. CBD is 6y degrees. ACB, ACB is given as 2y plus 10. This is 90. So add all of them up in the sense 6y plus 2y plus 10 plus 90 must be equal to 180. Now to save time, I'll just do directly everything in calculator. It'll be something like this now. You have to just type it out. 6. Instead of x, you have to put y plus 2y plus 10 plus 90 equals 180. Shift and solve. The answer is 10. That's it. Same thing over here. Please do it by yourself and then you can check for the answer. Here, AD, it's length. AD is given and then CD is given. Now, these both are equal to each other, right? They are sides. All the sides are equal. So, equate them to each other and solve. You will get the answer. Same thing with 9 and 10 over here. Now, this is about square. Till over here, we just now had rhombus. Okay, it's mentioned it's rhombus. Now, we have square. PQRS is a square. PR is 42. What is TR? Where is TR? This one. Now, here you must always remember square. It's much easier. This is all 90 degrees. All the sides are equal. If all sides are equal, the diagonals must be equal to each other. And they bisect over here as well. So what else? Uh, this is equal. This is equal. Uh, this is a, what is that? Isosceles triangle, okay? Now, what else do we need? Uh, some information is not required. Some basic information is enough. Now, PR is 42. So what is T and R? TR. It's half of that. It's 21. Directly you can do it. Half of that, right? Half of diagonal because they are bisecting. The diagonals are bisecting. They are 
equally cut into halves. Now GHK, GHJK is a square. KM is over here given as 26.5. What is KH? Where is KH? This is just 2 times it. 26.5 times 2, it will be 52 plus 1, it's 53. The answer is 53. Sorry. So that's the, okay, good. Uh, it should be multiplied by 2. It, it is 53. Uh, let's, uh, there's an error, I believe. Now the question is 26. Yeah, there is an error over here because it's a decimal point and this is even when you multiply it by 2 it cannot be even it will be an odd number so 26 times 2 is how much 52.5.5 will be 1 so it should be 53 you can check it in calculators you will get 53 as the answer uh, that's the last problem then so please make sure you realize this is wrong answer over here it is 53 i am sorry for that it is 53 here this is the correct answer that's the end of the topic number nine. Uh, please do try to practice more problems and make sure you know the properties of parallelogram, rhombus and squares. Understand them thoroughly and then the problems will be very easy to solve.